Hey guys, Jazz back with another video. In this video, we're going to open up some Legend Fantasy packs. Uh, I was deciding between these two bundles, but I think this one is a little bit better. You get, if you buy two of these right here, basically costs less than this, and you get 10 packs instead of 8. And the topper, 85 overall, you're probably just going to get 85 overall. I'd rather just risk it. Right now, the um, limiteds are still in the packs. I think I'm recording this a little few hours before they go out of the packs. So we're going to pull 10 of these packs. Hopefully get good um, good pulls. But again, not terrible. I've seen a lot of people pull these, and they have been pretty bad. The good thing is right now, the auction house, the card prices are up. So even if we get really, really bad pulls, um, we're going to get like, I think we're guaranteed at 83. I think 83 is right now going for around 23, 24K. So hopefully we get a few that are better than that. But yeah, cards are up like 86s, 87s are up. Pretty much all the cards are up right now. So they, these are going for like 80K. This actually, you can resell it, make like 2,000 coins right there. Whatever. We're here to open packs. Um, like I said, next video is probably just going to be a general sniping video. to help you guys out sniping and start making some coins. You could definitely make, you know, especially like early in the day. Later at night right now is not as, um, probably not going to work as much as we're going to open our first one up. Uh, right now at night probably won't work as much as because there's not a lot of cards in the auction house right now I'm noticing but usually it's a good time to sell at night time because prices go up So if you want to just you know snipe and then sell your cards during the, um, the night It's probably beneficial if you snipe during the day and sell at night because um, Card prices go up, but it doesn't really matter what we take here three silvers and like, like again with these packs Like the silver rounds usually you just get silvers gold rounds You most likely just gonna get gold rounds like and then like the 83 plus, you're most likely gonna get an 83. Like the packs are pretty bad. Um, probably gonna get him. I'm not sure if I have him for the rookies. Let's see, we pop just one. Like this is the 83 plus most likely is gonna be. Oh, it's an 84. And Jamal Adams actually goes for a decent amount. It goes for like 50,000. It's gonna be. See right here, I actually don't know who goes for more. So give me a second. All right, so actually Jamal Adams goes for. He goes for about 50. I think Jerry Rice goes around 40. So. Jamal Adams is definitely the move right there. Not a bad first pack. At least we got a decent card, I think. But look, the rest, you just not get anything. You're hoping that you pull a couple of elites in the other packs. But, I mean, slim pickings, man. These packs, they're not juice. Like they, I mean, I, I get it as the beginning of the year. But even, like, the gridiron packs, like, people are pulling a lot of elites out of those. And, like, I think these, the odds of pulling on, like, the gold and silver rounds are really, really, you know, died down. Which kind of gives value to, to elites, though, because now they're not being pulled as much. So it's like a double-edged sword. Because if they were, at least were popping out like crazy, the prices would probably be down. So it's a yin to yang. Yeah, you'll probably pull. It's probably more exciting to pull more elites. But uh, I don't think I have this guy right here. So, I don't think it really matters. But, yeah, I'm going to take the rookie. And we get a coin. Uh, I knew it was going to be 8. I was hoping it was like 83, 84 or something like that. Because then it will be some value. And we get a, and then the two, like the legend pieces, usually be pretty bad. I think the tackles are very limited, so his price might be up. I'm just gonna take him, not even look into it. I'm pretty sure that D tackles, there aren't too many good D tackles in the game, so I'm pretty sure his price is pretty high. On to the next pack. If we could just pull a couple of elites out in the other rounds, it'll really help out. Maybe even pull an elite in the silver. I doubt it. We could pull a gold in the silver. It's like, holy, look at this. I mean, I, I would like to be able to pull some power ups. That's what you really wanna pull in the silver rounds, because. You're not gonna pull any elites, but you know some of the power ups go for a lot of coins. That's what you really want. We get a we get a coin card to eighty. Oh my god! And I was just talking crap about. And then we get three elites. Obviously, we get three elites when we can't. We only gonna take two. Doesn't really matter. I think who I take here. I don't think any of these guys have power ups. Maybe and I don't know. But that was a really good one because uh, he's gonna get cooked. So now can we back it up with a green a cream hunt? Is not terrible. I mean, pull limited. That would be amazing. Not too sure. I don't think that's that much difference between these two cards. I'll just take the Kareem Hunt. Eh, it probably wasn't the best. Uh, if it anything, it's a couple thousand. But right here, this Kyle Fuller, it's quick sells for 55k. So that was like that's probably our best pull so far. It's worth the most, and you probably, I mean, you probably could sell them off a little bit more. We'll see. No, I don't think you can. I'm just gonna take the coins right now, 55k. We'll take it, and we got three elites in that one. That's probably gonna be our best pack of the night, unless we pull something crazy like a full legend or. A limited time card. I don't think we're gonna pull anything better than that. Let's see even the silver rounds. Silver rounds have yet to give us anything but silvers. Not even a power up. I haven't even popped the power up out of here, which is crazy, but it happens. Silver, I mean, whatever. Let's let's just hope we get more packs like the last one. 
And we don't get anything. Okay. It doesn't really matter who you take. I guess I just took the high gold, but that, this is one of those new cards, Avery Williams, which is not terrible. But again, these the last pack but hasn't been I every everybody's packs who I've seen, like they just pull like 82s, 83s, like Rarely do you get anything more. I mean, obviously, every now and then you're going to pop a really big one. But for the most part, you get really low overall cards. You get, like, their bottom cards every single time, which, like, they just dumb down these odds. But, I mean, you're getting value because the card prices are so up right now. Obviously, for the first weekend league, card prices are probably going to take a huge jump. So, packs haven't been terrible. I mean, we could be just been getting low 83s, the worst, every time. And at least we're getting a little bit better than the average, I guess. Except for the sofas. Holy shit. Doesn't really matter who we take. I probably should have took one of the higher ones, but I mean, what's the? Now we get a Fletcher Cox, which I believe he might be. I'm obviously gonna take the rookie and Fletcher Cox. Fletcher Cox might go for a little, but we'll check out his price. That might be a pretty good pull. I haven't really seen what his power up goes for. I don't think he's gonna go for nothing crazy, maybe. But fullbacks, I know, go for some money. There aren't that many good fullbacks, so that's actually a good pull. We've been getting decent pulls out of our middle, our middle card. So can't complain too much. I think this Fletcher Cox goes for something. Not really too sure. I haven't checked his price, but he is the best overall D tackle. So I'm sure that one is probably really good. It's probably one of the better pulls you can get out of the um, power ups. But obviously, we're not getting any power ups in the silver rounds. Silver rounds have been bad. We finally got a gold. I mean, it's a come up. We got a gold. Ryan Kerrigan, I'm, I'm sure he's terrible because his speed is so low. Though he has great power moves and all stuff, his speed is so low that his card. Let's take take the rookie and the power up. I don't think the power up goes for anything. That's not bad. That was that's actually probably our best pool so far. I think that one goes for like 50k right here. Okay, so we still like I said this this slot right here. Like I've seen people pull the the high ones here usually. Like this slot is always like 81, 82, 83. Never even seen a hardly ever seen the 84 plus there. We'll take the Michael straight hand. I'm sure that's like 80k. So I mean. The pack open is going better. I was hoping for like 40k. I think we're gonna make a little bit better now. I mean, we'll check it up all at the end, but I mean 40k. I was hoping for like 400k. I think we're on track to to, to maybe even break for like five 600k. So that's not terrible. We still aren't pulling anything in the silver rounds. We got one gold so far, and we get a John Elwin. Okay. That was a good pull. I'm, I'm blowing through things, just thinking that we're just going to keep getting goals. And we get the Dan Dor Deardorf. I'm Deardorf. Holy shit. And the John Elway. But um, I don't think he goes for that much because obviously you can just get the power-ups if you just play that one solo. Like, my biggest expectation is out of the, this slot right here. I always expect this slot to give me the best card, obviously, because this one is the guaranteed 83+. plus. But, yeah, I haven't taken the, the Legend card yet, I don't believe. so. And I think that's just going to be the whole video. I don't think we're ever going to take that Legend card because I think they don't give you anything in that slot, which is crazy. You should get a chance to pop something, something all crazy. I'm just going to speed open these up because I don't think we're going to get anything. But then I do that, and then we get some. So let me slow it down a little bit. So, so that's what happened. That's what happened with the John Oak. We get Elite. Everson Griffin. I mean, it's better. I mean, better than the gold, I guess. I'm hoping, actually, in this round, you will want to just pop one of the really good um, power-ups like we just did with Fletcher Cox. I believe he's one of the better ones. This slot is usually going to give us an 80-81. This slot probably 83-84. And then we're going to get trash out of this slot every single... 84. We're going to take the Jerry right. We finally... See, I just said we're never going to take the one on the right. We just take the one on the right, which is okay. I think we're going to... We're doing pretty good. I'm hoping... I mean, what you really want is, um, what was it? Who's the D tackle that's right now? The limited D tackle. That's who, who everybody should want because I think he goes for the most. I haven't even checked their prices, but pretty sure that's the one we want. But, I mean, limited cards. I think just like last year, uh, Lane Johnson, I don't think he goes that much because his, his low base card is pretty low. I think it's like an 80, 81, 82 or something like that. So, I don't think it goes for that much, but it's better than the gold, I guess. But, yeah. I believe just like last year, limiteds are going to be super, super rare. Can we pull something? Uh, I would probably take the base card. I mean, but yeah, limiteds are pretty rare. I, I don't think you're going to be popping limiteds just like last year. I think two years ago, limiteds were very easy to pull. They were e very, not very easy, but they were easier to pull. So now they put like the quick sell values on them and then they made them super hard to pull. They're like almost impossible to pull. 
And those are, which is good though, because limited should be hard to pull, I guess. Because a couple years ago, they were like, on the Legend Weekend, the cheapest one will always be the limiteds because they will get pulled so often. Every time we get like a double elite around right there, and we get the Lane Johnson, he's the 82 overall. Obviously, they would just, you know, they wanted us to actually get both, get the power up. <sighs> Can't use, I mean, that's a great pull, but when you see the flash, I don't think I can tell the, the apart the big legend pool like the full pool and then the, like the the second highest you can't really tell it apart too much probably a little bit bigger than x but i mean it's something you can't really tell apart um not too terrible i mean we're gonna check out the prices of a few of these we should have made some decent amount of coin especially with the the um, prices of cards being up right now so the pack opening is wasn't bad it's better than i thought maybe we got like 287 pluses i believe we'll check right now go to um, noise and a lot of these cards are up like um ooh, like luke keekley but i mean obviously they're not a lot of cards i'd be going for like 150 i think i got them for like 90k so a lot of these cards are already starting to take off which is good i bought most of these cards as investments and they, they're on my team like i got three david bakhtiari's on my team and then i got it for like 70k <laughs> 60 something k he's going for like 90 he'll probably go for like 100 something by the time weekend league rolls around, like Wednesday or something, these prices should start even spike a little bit more. Um, all right, so let's sort through newest and let's just look at elites. Well, let's look at the power up first. I want to take a look at that power up that we got. I think it's pretty expensive. Look, Fletcher Cox, 15K. Oh, a lot lower than I thought. I thought it was like 40, 30 something K. So a lot up lower. It's probably a. Um, one to invest in, it'll probably get down to like 10K at some point. So you probably gonna invest in, once he gets a new card, his power will be worth like 40, 50K. So always keep that in mind. I know Lee Johnson is probably gonna be like 2,000, 3,000 or something like that, 5,000, okay. It's not the greatest, but I mean, those are decent pools. You always wanna pull some of these um these um power-ups. But well, let's take a look at the elites real quick, the ones that we got, see the type of prices. Like most of these, I mean, they're just, you know, they're going for whatever the, the minimum is going like 25K or something. So like when you get like 82s, it's like 25K. So that's not terrible. Ken Houston's probably going for around 80 to 100, 100K. So that's actually a really good pull. We also got that 55K quick sell as well. Van Der Resch is probably going for 35K. Like like even like the 30, 82s, like this is not like the end of the year of Mutt where like 89s are going for like 5K, 7K. Jerry Rice right here, 35K. Like, this this is all going to add up. We're probably going to make, like, around, you know, half a million coins or something like that. Got the Michael Strahan. He's probably going for a little bit less than Ken Houston because he's, yeah, 100K. So, basically, between both of them, that's, like, 200K. We already got the 55K quick sell. That's 250. And then we just got a bunch of, like, low overall um, <clears throat> at least We got the Avery Williams probably going for, like, 35, 40K maybe, 40K. So, yeah, it all adds up. It's not terrible to buy packs now just because of the odds. We got a lot of pools. I probably looking at about half a million, six hundred thousand probably when it's all said and then I saw all the golds and everything and the power ups and everything. So not not a terrible pack opening. Obviously you want to pull the limited. Let's check out the limited card prices. So I'm pretty sure they're really rare. Let me see if they're even in the auction house, some of these limited. Obviously, nobody really wants the kicker and stuff. Like the higher end players will um take those kickers. But I mean, only the higher end. That that only caters to higher end players because i don't believe anybody um so yeah half a million coins really good so they're pretty rare there's only 10 in the auction house right now for the d tackle i think the right tackle was the other one uh, obviously like 91s he's going for 400k the kickers and punters should be a little bit lower but like later on in the year they'll probably be more valuable they're rare as shit only one kicker on the auction house and there's three punters not bad i mean i wish i would have pulled a couple of these but the limiteds i think are, are a lot harder to pull than two years ago about the same as last year which is good you want limiteds to be rare i mean but not like rare that you could never pull them right now there's probably a combined like 25 of them in the auction house so it is what it is the pack almost pretty good once i sell everything i probably might hold on to some of the higher end cards i think the prices might increase a little bit if i sell off some of the lower and stuff so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are opening packs, hopefully you had better luck than me. Maybe pull some of these limiteds. That's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, guys.